Higher. Right then, the second vid then for the proof. So it's talking about proof by exhaustion. So you check all possibilities. So is that proof that n is an even integer? So even tends to be 2n. So multiple of 2n. Uh, well, multiple of 2n. I should have put 2n because it's different. Can be written as the sum of two primes. Now this is looking at between 2 and 20. So really it's looking at the n values 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. So we're going to look at those. Now to be fair, that's 2, 4, 6, 8 things you're checking. You're probably only going to check 5 or 6 on the proper paper, aren't you? Because you're just wasting time with those. So for n is 4, that could be 2 plus 2, so that's okay. For n is 6, could be 5 plus 1. Oh, uh, 3 plus 3, sorry, because 1's not prime, is it? 3 plus 3. n is 8. 5 plus 3. I was looking at the 5. I was thinking of the 5. That's, right. That's my argument anyway. n is 10. Could be 5 plus 5. n is 12. Could be 5 plus 7. n is 14. Could be 7 plus 7. N is 16, uh, could be 13 add 3, and N is 18, could be 13 add 5. So, to prove it, so I have, haven't I? I've proved it, so therefore, if N is an even integer, 2 less than n less than 20, uh, it can be written as the sum of two primes. There we go. So what's it what's this gold blacks gold backs conjecture? So it's a famous unsolved problem. Uh, where people have gone up to 4 times by 10 to the power of 18. Absolutely shocking. Mm. Right, I'm going to stop there because I want to start the next bit as a new vid.